Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Let's look at how to install Plex onto your Mac. So you're gonna have your Mac running as a Plex server. We are running Mojave, let's do that right now. Hey, my name is Emilio. Let's look at today how to install the Plex media server onto your Mac and then actually connect the device into your, um, into your network to use that Plex media server for streaming and setting up content and media and TV shows and movies. So on your Mac, what you wanna do is you need to go and download the media server from the internet first. So open up your browser, I'm using Safari, and I've just typed in Plex into Google and I've got some results that have just shown up here. You see that first result is media server, okay? So I'm hoping that you already know what Plex does. Uh, if you don't know what Plex does, maybe do a bit of looking into what Plex does before doing this. But in a nutshell, it's just a media streaming service where you can have your own TV shows and movies running on your Mac or on a server, on your Plex server, uh, and then use your phone, use Apple TV, use other devices to be able to connect with the Plex and actually stream all of your content across any Plex device, essentially. Let's just close out of that ad. So what I'd recommend is you go and sign up. Uh, it's not essential you do this, but it will help with making sure that all of your devices can talk to each other properly um, to your Plex server and across your phone and your you know, TV and whatever else you want to be using to view Plex. Let's just go and sign up. And the great thing about this is you can log in directly with your Facebook um, or with your current Google email address. So just do that if you do have those accounts. Okay, so I'm now logged in and I want to go down and you'll see that there's a number of different icons on here because you can actually run Plex Media Server across many, many different platforms. So you've got Apple right here. We're going to click on Apple and you'll see there's a few options. There's players, there's servers and there's accessories. Now in this case, because we don't have any Plex at all, we're going to set up the server on our Mac. So click on servers and I've got Plex Media Server. I click on the plus and get download. All right, so this is going to be running on Mojave. I'm gonna make sure that you are downloading the Mac version. It's gonna be giving you some information here that it's from the Mavericks version of uh, 10.9 or newer, which in our case is newer, so it's all good. And the latest release is December 15. Yours may be different and newer as well. So just go and download that. So this is gonna to start to download it. In my case, it's gonna download it onto the desktop. Yours may go into a downloads folder or into a different folder if you've set that up. So once that is downloaded, I have it right here on my desktop, Plex Media Server. I double click on it. Now I need to go and install the Plex Media Server itself. asking me if I want to move it to the applications folder automatically, which you can do. So let's just do that just to make it a bit easier. So it's asking me, it's, it's just really a security warning here. So I'm just going to say open and that will redirect you into a Plex login window right here. So sign in and now we're presented with this first screen. Now you may notice that in the top of your uh, taskbar here, you've now got a new icon. This is essentially the Plex icon. So this is showing me that the Plex media server is running. Okay, you can actually set it so that it starts up at login. Every time you boot up your Mac, Plex will start up automatically. So if you understand that, you can go got it. You know, there are different levels to get a Plex pass. Uh, we won't do that in this demonstration. So let's give our Plex server a name. So now I've got Plex server installed and I need to give it a name so that when devices on my network, whether it be your phone, another computer, an Apple TV, a gaming console, anything that has a Plex application, uh, it needs to talk to this Plex server. It needs to know what it's gonna be called. So let's just call it Plex, let's call it Plex Media Server. You can actually have this section here, allow me to access my media outside my home if you do wish to do that. It is a cool feature. Uh, it does obviously use um, the internet. It goes over the internet. So up to you whether you want to do that or not. 
We'll leave that tick just for now. Click on next. In this instance, it's automatically created a music and a photos category. So what I'm doing in this section here is I'm organizing my media. So you may have TV shows, you may have movies, you may have documentaries, you may have music, you may have photos, you may have your own personal home movies or travel videos or anything like that. And you can actually group these into separate categories. So you don't have to dump everything into the one category. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say add library and I wanna select the library type. So I'm gonna create movies. So I've got a whole bunch of movies on my computer. So I'm gonna create a movies library. I'm gonna call it movies. Okay, I can call this whatever I want, but because it's got movies in it, I'm gonna call it movies. Leave the language as default, next. And now I'm going to browse where my media is located. Okay, so you need to now go to the folder where you have these movies. Browse for media. Now I know I've got some content on my movies folder. And here I've got movies and TV shows. You may have a external hard drive, um, which is probably the better way to do this because it can store a lot more content, you know, in some instances. So you can just browse to your external hard drive and just browse to your media there. Now I'm just gonna open up the find and sort of show you something. So here are my folders, all right? Movies and TV shows. I've got some movies in here. I've got some TV shows in here. Now, the thing that you want to make sure is um, Plex can be a little bit funny when it comes to some naming conventions. So make sure that things are named correctly and put into the proper folders. Now, it's pretty smart with movies to be able to detect the name of the movie and potentially the year of the movie um, if there's multiple movies that have been done across multiple years. Um, so the movie title isn't too bad. As long as the movie title is in there, um, Plex should be able to pick it up quite easily. Uh, within TV shows though, uh, the better thing you can do is you create, you've got your, your, your TV series in here. So let's say Mr. Robot, and then I've got season listed, all right? So I'll have seasons one, two, three, etc. in individual folders. And then each one of those folders for each season has the content within those folders, okay? Accordingly for that particular season. All right, so make sure that you do have your media set up like that because if it's not set up this way, it can be a little bit difficult. I may not be able to bring up the media properly because the beautiful thing about Plex is Plex will actually go out onto the internet and sort through all of your media and download descriptions, download screenshots, download all of the nice bits of the um, of the TV show and the movies um, so that when you are browsing Plex, it appears really, really nice and really professional. We'll show you what that looks like in a little while anyway. So I'm selecting movies and I'm gonna click on movies. You'll see that I've got three movies in here and I can say add. So that is going to add this particular folder, movies containing all of my movies into Plex. And you'll see that scanning the movie section has just shown up. So what that's now doing is that's now scanning those movies, it's going out onto the internet and downloading the sufficient content. Uh, let's add the TV shows one. So select media type is TV shows. Next, I'm going to browse. I know that it's inside my movies folder, TV shows and add. So I'm adding that straight into there. So now you see that I've got movies and TV shows have shown up, scanning the TV show section. Now you'll also see that I've got movies and photos. Um, if you do want those in there, you can keep them in there. But essentially what will happen is when you open up the Plex, um, the Plex application, you'll have some options there and you'll see music listed, you'll see photos, you'll see movies, you'll see TV shows. So if you don't want photos listed, you can just simply remove it straight from here. Same deal with music. Now for other sorts of media type, you see that you've also got movies, photos and other videos. So if you are creating um, your own personal videos, let's say you go on a trip or you've recorded a video at home, um, you want to not select movies or TV shows, you want to ideally select other videos because what that's going to do is if you create a whole bunch of your own content, you name it accordingly and you dump it into a folder, if you've selected the media type, the library type as movies, it's actually going to go out to, onto the internet and try to search for the title that you've given that video. And if, if it matches anything even similar to that title, it's going to download all of this 
content that you may not actually want. Um, so it may be a little bit confusing. So for your own personal stuff, create other videos. For anything that is some sort of a series, um, you know, TV shows obviously, but anything such as documentaries or music videos, um, you know, concerts, those sort of things, select the media type of TV shows is probably better if there are multiple types. Um, if it's just like a once off, uh, select documentaries, uh, sorry, if it's just a once off, select a movie. So you'll have to play sometimes when it comes to certain documentaries, like if it's a series of documentaries, let's say it's, I don't know, David, uh, like a David Attenborough um, documentary that has parts one, two, and three, that's gonna fall under TV shows. But if it's like a once off special, it may fall under movies. So for certain things like this, you may need to play around with movies and TV shows. Anyway, cancel that. Now, I don't want music either, so I'm going to remove that. Yes, I'm sure. Next, server setup. Uh, I'm going to remove this. I'm, going to, I'm not going to bother doing this right now, but essentially what this will do is it's all well and good for you to have the Plex media server set up, but then the next thing is you need the Plex application to be able to go and browse the server uh, to go and get your content. So remember that your Mac is being set up as the Plex media server but you still need the Plex app on your Mac to be able to browse it accordingly, to browse it properly. The same deal, you can download the Plex application, which is available across multiple platforms on your phone, on your tablet, on your gaming devices, on your Apple TVs. Uh, you can download the Plex application, and if it's on the same network as your Mac, which is now running the Plex media server, it should pick it up automatically, and you should be good to go. So if all things have worked correctly, when you go into Plex right here, it should have automatically now gone and downloaded the content. You'll see that it's already detected my movies automatically. It's downloaded the nice cover artwork. It's detected my TV shows. It's downloaded the cover, cover work. And you'll see to the left here, I've got libraries. I've got movies. Here are my movies and here are my TV shows. And I can open up one of these super easy so you'll see that it's downloaded all this information straight off the internet cast related shows a description of that you know that tv show i can go into here and i can go and open up kill bill you see that it's downloaded all of the content and i can literally just say play right here and that'll play the movie within the server but it's not the nicest experience because you do really need the plex application to be able to view this nicely so that's really how to configure the Plex server. Uh, I can literally go into here into libraries and add additional library types and add more things in here. And the great thing about Plex is Plex generally will automatically scan your library over a certain amount of time. You can actually manually update the library as well. But what I'm talking about is I can go into my finder and I've got my movies and TV shows. And what, what happens is as soon as I add and a movie or a TV show into an appropriate folder, Plex will scan the library, automatically pick up that content, download the, the you know, the data, the, the images, the data um, of that uh, movie or TV show um, automatically. So I can literally just add a new movie. So let's just say, I mean, I'm just gonna test this for now. All right, within movies here, I can click on this little thing and I can just refresh or scan library. There you go. It's going out onto the internet and it's going to download all of the content for Shrek. And there you go. So now Shrek is in here. I can go in and I've got all the information, but that's really as easy as, as it is. So it'll go down, download the content automatically. I can literally go into the Plex icon up here and say update libraries as well. And that will go and scan everything. And that is really the steps on how to set up the Plex media server. The next step is then to go in and download the Plex application, which you can get for your Mac, you can get for your Windows computers, you can get for your phones, for your Apple TVs, for your gaming consoles, across a multiple uh, set of devices. And as long as you've got Plex server running, um, then it'll be able to pick it up and you'll be able to play the content from your Mac running Plex server. Now remember, because this is now acting as a Plex media server, uh, you need to have your Mac turned on to be able to play the media from your Mac. If you turn your Mac off, 
then you won't be able to play the Plex Media Server on any of your other devices. So just keep that in mind. So that is the simple steps on how to install Plex Media Server. I hope you found this helpful. I would love it if you commented, liked my video as well, and we will see you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.